Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, and episode 71 of our Poland Can't Need to Space campaign. Last episode, Spain declared war on uh, a slowly dying France, and uh, we joined them, basically. Oh, typical. Netherlands jumped in as France were beaten and so I did, I know, I'm going to take some stuff for myself because they're greedy. That's what they are. But yeah, at the moment we're just waiting for this war to finish. And as soon as this war is done, we'll move our armies um, back to back to home, swap some generals over, and then we'll go straight to war with... Uh, straight to war with... Um, what's his face? Sweden. Which, given the small army they have, should be pretty darn easy. Right, the Siege of Narbonne is done. I'm going to send an army and take Palermo, just because Spain don't seem to be interested in doing it themselves. I mean, they only need to take Syracuse, but might as well take Palermo as well. I'll just have to make sure I don't forget that that army's down there. Which, given my bad memory, I probably will. Don't tell me Moldavia is following. Bloody typical. Nobody goes down there. And then suddenly... Two massive armies decide to go down there. AI things. Right, the Siege of Poito is over. There, so I will move you up to Maine. Just I'm going to get as many, much land off um, out from under the Netherlands' nose as possible. I, can I turn that over to Spain? Yeah, I can. Fabulous. That's pretty much it, though, I think. France are done. They are done did. Right, Palermo is fine. Give that to Spain. Bring that army back up. Tell you what. To be honest, I might as well start sending armies home once they've done that, done their jobs. Um, just to speed up the process of going to war with Sweden, basically. you can go as well. Where shall I send you? I'll send you to Macedonia. Uh, prestige. I want stability. Max stability. I just assumed we already had it. Ooh. We've got Barry. And no more. Come on, Spain. You've got to peace out now. Jeez. They're dead. They're dead, Spain. Unless they're waiting on the, uh, to get the forts, which I currently have. Maybe. Just guessing. Right, so we've got about, what, 28 years? Or, uh, 20, yeah, 28 years left. Yes, we've got 28 years left of the campaign, approximately. Assuming my math isn't completely bad. And now we have a ruler. Which is a bit odd. Oh no, there we go. I was, I was saying, um... I was about to say, oh well, she doesn't have, um... The increased, uh... Admin points. But there we go. Up to four. Glorious. Still not particularly great, though. I have to say. Uh, right, give you to Spain. And then bugger off home. Be gone. So once all our... Uh, 
armies back, we'll start moving across. Well, actually, what we can do, or what I think we should do, would be a good idea, is to move up. Two armies there, just in case Sweden decide to come down here. I doubt they will, because, you know, Hamburg's obviously got most of their, well, all of their crossings, but just in case. Oh, one of our advisors died when I wasn't looking. National unrest, sure. Just need threes at this point. Um, no, I don't hold any more. Oh, come on, bloody Spain. You're a hundred percent. That's just ridiculous. You've got a peace out now. There we, there we go. That was a bit touch and go. Hmm. Somebody uh came to deliver something to the door. But yeah, anyway, we're at Spain. We uh, Spain owes us thirteen favors. So we're gonna make them like us. Why not? What about Austria? They like us. Moldavia don't like us. <laughs> what about Netherlands? Do they? Yeah, a little bit. What about Golden Horde? Meh. Right, so. so Sicily will cede Messina, Messina to Spain. France will cede Nice, Berry, Bourbon, Limousin, Rouge, uh, I can't pronounce that one, Provence, Lyonnais. Dauphin, Charolais, and God knows what that one is. Uh, Spain. So yeah, France pretty much done. <laughs> to be honest. Spain. Oh, that is a lot of a uh, lot of power projection for uh, for Spain. We've actually dropped below fifty now after not having uh, wars. So we who who's our? We're going to insult the Ottomans. We sp we laugh at them. So that gave us five. So, right. Let's go to war. You. 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 And you. Right. Schweden. Um, see, I could do this on my own, so I, I don't care. I'm not going to uh, to get people into this war. Why is Spain joining Sweden? What? Is Spain the defender of the Catholic faith or something? What uh, religion are... Um... <sighs> yeah, that must be it. Spain, the defender of the Catholic faith. No, they're allies. But they're not allies. Hmm. I can actually claim their throne. How old's their monarch? 29, so he's not going to die anytime soon. Yeah, and he literally just got an heir. <laughs> oh, well. See, I, I got that one. I didn't miss that one. Um, so why is... What? What? Why? 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 But they're not... Uh, yeah, Spain is defender of the Catholic faith and will protect them. God damn you. It's only like three away as well. That's pretty annoying. So who else are we going to go for? Who else? What about uh, hamburger allied with thingy, aren't they? What if we go to war with Bremen? Uh, no, that's for Den. Bremen. Okay, loads of people will join. 
And then we do that. Hmm. High note. See, that'll make it a lot more expensive to take their provinces, and I want to take a pretty big chunk. Um, sure, why not? But I do need to go to war. So. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's the only way I can do it, really, because I don't want to go to war with Spain. Not that I couldn't beat them. I could, but... I'm going to call Spain in. So that will make Spain lose. Yeah, that's how we do it. Yep, there we go. So that should have made Spain... ...lose the, um... Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself. I should have made Spain lose their Defender of the Faith, I believe. So, what else have we got down here now? So, which which leader have we got left? He is Leonas. There we go. So, Leonas will go and step on uh, Bremen. So, I want military access, please. Thanks, Hamburg. You're a doll. Mm, sure, he's not a bad heir. Um, so who's actually in this war? So Bremen are actually in a war already, were they? A war with Sweden and Bremen. Know this. Okay. No, so that's 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 totally fine. I'm gonna go and, go and get Slesvig. And meanwhile. So, I guess I can't do anything until I've waited for these forts to go down. Which they just have. Glorious. So that busts that. Oh god. Wide open. For me to run through and siege down all of it. I don't really have to care about attrition, to be honest. Because we... I believe... Did we get defensive ideas? No, we didn't. But well, I've got so much manpower, it's a non-issue. Yeah, see, they lost it, and then now they've just got it back again. <laughs> Siege of Corellia is over. You can go to Cola. How much am I making now? 83 ducats a month. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So. Hmm. There we go. Wow, they got a three star general. Now it's frozen. There we go. That's fine. So, oh, minus 98. That's a bit brutal. Cheeky buggers. You up to there, you to there, you to there. 
Let's do this. So I think what I'm probably going to do is take as much of this as possible. And just make a new... Uh, a new client state, to be honest. Just eat it all up. Hamburg accepted peace with the former Emily enemy. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hamburger uh, blobbin. Right. Who's uh, who's who's done? Where's Hess? Let's find out. Right, so, Heinold. I want you to force religion. That's what I want you to do. And then what else can I get people to do? Oh, I can obviously war against Bremen, but I want to peace out Sweden first. another general although <laughs> they are not the best where's the other general who died because I'm allowed five too many military leaders no 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 I'm at the right amount although I do not need my forts active so in Norway not allied with Sweden I just assumed they were for Dunn and Ottawa. So if they're allied with Ottawa, that means they've got... Yeah. Finland. So Norway are uh, colonizing. Fabulous. God, France have been full annexed to get... Wow. Fully occupied, I should say, again. Oh, go on then. So, who, which army are you? Your Hazuklas. Mush. And then, oh, poor Sweden. You're going to get squashed by uh, Moldavia. Or at least I was hoping you were going to, but Moldavia have uh, chickened out, it would seem. There we go. Come on, Moldavia. Reinforce me. Good. Good march. Good little vassal. They should get stack wiped. Not quite, sadly. Is Heinholt, are they, are uh, Heinholt ready? Oh no, Heinholt won't, because I think they're a vassal, aren't they? Oh no. So Heinholt might be ready to, uh, to leave? No. take Stockholm. Once I take Stockholm, I can move the rest of these armies down and take the rest of Sweden. At the moment, I'm sort of pen hemmed in. 56. Hurrah. Right. You come there. You go there. And you go there. And the war is over. Pretty much. What? Niederlautzitz. 
How the hell did we lose that? Bloody little bastards. See, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why... That is why <laughs> you don't let, um, you don't let little stacks run around when you have a, basically no, um, fort active. I wonder if I can get across there. Spare no expense. Sound like uh, John Hammond from a uh, Jurassic Jurassic World. Right, let's turn our maintenance on. We might as well. Although I'm fairly certain this war is as over as Oprah can be. Just got to take this last province, and then uh, I think that's sw apart from Gotland. Not Sweden. Fully annexed. Oh, you little bastards. Right. I want you, 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 you. You and you. Oh, okay, that's great. It'll only annoy Sweden. I can actually f take the whole of Sweden in one war. Pretty much. <laughs> that's quite amazing, actually. So I'll take this province and then Gotland and... Uh, Whatever that's called. There we go, right. We got there. soon to get that one, and then they will literally only have Gotland left. Wow. That's pretty amazing. There's only Gotland I can't take. So. This can take up a lot of Diplotech, but I'm ahead on Diplotech, so that is fine. I have a claim on Slevsvig. News to me. I'm not going to take it, though, because it's too far away. Like, all of this, I could patrol with my own troops. Might as well take their money. I will... Meh. No, that's fine. Wow. <laughs> Right, let's delete these castles, because our let's set up a client state, sign province client state, so we're going to name it new, um, Swedish Swedish Commonwealth. And it'll be a monarchy and it'll be my dynasty. And that looks fine. What map colour do I want them to have? That one's quite a cool looking map colour. I'm not too bothered about the flag. That looks fine to me. 
Okay. Right, so in the next episode, because I've actually gone over it by quite a bit, I've just realised, in the next episode we'll uh, make the whole of this client state, and then we could even go to war with Norway and add on to the client state, but they'll have a hideous amount of overextension at the moment, so we probably won't do that <laughs> just yet. Um, yeah, no, I think that's the right thing to do. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you in the next episode. Take care.